Look, let's be honest. Chrome extensions are typically eh, not that exciting. They're usually shortcuts to companies' websites. They're little utilities that are fun and cute, but kind of pointless. Well, amongst the mess of Chrome extensions, I found a bunch of epic Chrome extensions that are seriously good, practical, and of course free. Now, this video is sponsored by My Computer Works. No, they're not a web extension company, but they can solve your techie related question for free. But more on that shortly, and you'll definitely want to stick around for that. So let's kick it off with the one that is really a game changer if you use Instagram. This is going to solve the biggest frustration that you have with IG after testing a whole bunch. This is the best one that you absolutely must have. Right, so this is Instagram on the desktop. As you know, you go to Instagram.com on your Chrome browser or whatever browser you happen to use, and you can see your feed, you can see your stories, you can do your searches, you can send messages, hearts, comments, etc. Now, here is what's frustrating. You cannot upload any content. Well, that's about a change. All you're going to do is download this Chrome extension. Link will be in the description below, and watch this. Now, firstly, it already starts to look like an app. Now, you can see your feed. You can heart things. You can go and read other people's comments, and you can leave comments. But this is where it gets super interesting. Press the little plus button at the bottom, and now you can add stories, photos, videos, reels, IGTV, carousel, and even schedule posts. Here is an example. I'm going to upload a thumbnail from my desktop to my Instagram feed. I can resize it as I would in a normal app. I can move things around. What I cannot do is punch in and punch out. At least I haven't figured out if there's a way to actually do that. But okay, let's get this picture nice and aligned. Click on next at the top. And of course, I can also go ahead and write my caption. Have you seen my latest video? Something like that. Now, hashtag, it automatically starts to populate the trending hashtag. I can either simply click on them or I can write my own hashtags. And as I'm going to do here, the techie guy and YouTube. Now, there's something called collections, which we'll get onto a little bit later. I can add a location and I can tag people. Right, let's go back. And here I can refresh my feed. So I can obviously pull the latest stuff out of Instagram. I can go ahead and I can use the widescreen. The widescreen basically looked like the normal Instagram kind of um, desktop browser side of it. And I can go into dark mode if I want to see, especially useful if I want to see what my images look like if someone's using dark mode. Zen mode is pretty cool. It gets rid of the comments, the hearts, so I can actually just focus on the content itself. Wow, how is all that for free? And if you want the pro version, it comes with a whole bunch more features for about eight bucks per month. The next one is a big irritation solver. Since GDPR, every single website that we visit has this irritating pop-up notifications about those darn cookies. I have a whole video about cookies, which I will link to below. But if you don't care about cookies, well, this is the best thing ever. A cookie notification blocker. Okay, you know the drill. You go onto any particular website. Here is iol.co.za or ZA, and there it is, a cookie notification pops up. Go to the gdpr.eu website, and again, a cookie notification pops up. You have to say accept, accept all, yes, no, etc. Super irritating, and quite frankly, getting to the point where I don't care about cookies. No, no, seriously, that is what the extension is called. It's called I Don't Care About Cookies. So let's go ahead and add this particular extension and let me show you what it does. Once we've added, go to gdpr.eu where the cookie notification popped up earlier and now it's no longer there. Now, as per the developer's website, in most cases, it will just hide the pop-up notification, but there are instances where the cookies are needed for the site to actually work. So it will accept those cookies for you. So just a heads up. And moving on to the next pretty handy extension. Right, so you must have noticed by now that when you do a Google search for something, it will actually highlight the text of your search if it finds it within a particular article. Highlights it in yellow, so your eyes can visually go straight to that point, read it, and you got your information. Well, you can do the same. Link to text fragment made by Google, that's the extension I'm talking about. You can go and add that. Now, you're able to go find any web page and read any articles. And if you want to just highlight a specific part within that article and send it to someone, that is what this extension does. Let me show you. So I've got a blog post open. Let's just say this is the bits that I want to actually get somebody to read. I highlight that, right click on that, copy link to selected text, click on that. You see it highlights it in yellow. 
I open up anything that I can send, such as an email, a Discord message, a WhatsApp message, anything that you can copy and paste a link into. And there we go. So I'm going to compile this email, check this out, paste my little highlighter text. And when the person receiving it, this is what it's going to look like. You can click on it, takes them straight to that article and then highlights the bit that I wanted them to see. Now, I love this extension. And if you work a lot with tabs, so will you. Okay, I don't know about you, but I don't work with one single tab at any one time. I work with multiple tabs open at any point so I can bounce between them. Now, what's the problem? Well, besides being a little bit overwhelming, if I have to close down my browser for any reasons, like I have to reboot my computer, I'm going to lose all those open tabs. Well, not unless you have the one tab extension. The link for that, of course, is in the description below as well. So once we added this particular extension, it puts this little upside down funnel looking thing. I'm not sure what it's supposed to represent, but it puts it in there. And now all the tabs that I have open, I press the one tab and it just saves them to their own little web page within my browser. With one simple click, I can restore all the open tabs that I had before. How epic is that? But wait, it gets even better. So now I'm going to take my one tab, all those little tasks, little, little web pages that I have open, I'm going to rename them into something like morning check because I check these every morning. Now, if I want to add more tabs, so let's just say I'm thinking about going RVing and I'm looking at camping sites and I'm looking at Camping World and I'm looking at all these how to book accommodation websites, I'm going to group all those together. So once I have them open, I press a little funnel and it creates another group. I can go ahead and then I can rename that particular group. Let's just say, I don't know, RV and travel. And once I do that, well, now I have my morning checks and I've got my RV and travel groups. Before I show you the next one, which is all about working smarter, let me introduce you to my good friends at My Computer Works. Look, you guys have been asking me all these super technical questions that are particular to your home or specific equipment. Whilst I try to answer as many as I can, uh, it's kind of not possible to do them all. So instead of leaving you frustrated, I've teamed up with My Computer Works and they have agreed to answer your technical queries for free. No, no, seriously, for free, no catch, no credit card, nothing. Just click the link in the description below, ask your questions, and you're going to get an answer. Now, that is working smart, and speaking of smart, let me show you the next extension. Okay, so you know when you go onto Google and you do your good old search, let's just say things to do in Dallas, as an example, you're going to get a whole bunch of results. You click on the first one that appeals to you, then the good old web page loads, and then like, oh my God, has anybody ever clicked yes to that little notification? Just curious. Anyway, back to this. So you've clicked on the results, you've read the information, you didn't like what you found, so you go back to Google and then you clicked on the next one. And then you rinse and repeat until you find the information that you like. Well, not if you download Google similar pages and an X Chrome extension. Simply add that to your browser and now watch this. So let's go to do again things to do in Dallas. Let's find something that we want to click on. Here it is. That's the same website. Now, ah, that notification is drives me insane every time. Okay, so I'm here. And now look at this at the top. You've got a little, I don't know what that is, but it gives you similar results, similar pages. Essentially, it does the query, the Google search within the extension. So you don't actually have to leave this particular web page to go to the next query. So if you've made it this far, you have to check out this video over here with unbelievably useful website that you're not using, totally free of course, and check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head below down here to subscribe and I will see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.